What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's 6 o'clock. I'm at the lake. And I'm going to be trying to do... I've got about an hour to fish. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of a 3-2-1. Try to get a couple bass on this here spook. Switch over to jerk bait, hit the mid column. Try to get them on that and then hit the bottom of the jig and see what I can get on that. So let's see which bait works best today. And hopefully if we just catch them in general, that'll be good enough. So let's get out there. Looking good. Okay, so first off we have is the spook. We're gonna hit the top water and see if we can get them on that. Just have not miss. Oh, that little one come up and smack it. He's running the pads. Randy deep into those pads. Let's see if we can get him. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Ah. Well, I lost the bass, but at least I kept my bait. Damn, that was a nice one, too. Always have your drag set right before you start fishing. First one. First one. All right, first one for the top water. Nice large. First spook victim. Let's see if we can get some more before we get a switch. Okay, second bait. We're gonna work mid column with the jerk bait. The spook got one fish, so that's one for the spook. Um, not as good as I thought it was gonna be, but we did get several blow ups on the spook. Lots of missed fish, so let's see what the uh, jerk bait has to say. There we go. There we go. It's a nice one. That's a good one. Oh. No. What? It just broke me off. What? Are you serious? Damn, that was a nice one. It took my freaking jerk bait too. All right, so that bass just took my jerk bait and it was the only one I had. So in place of the jerk bait, we're gonna use the square bill for the uh, mid column. That's a bummer. That was a good jerk bait, but at least it lost it on a fish. It was a pretty nice one. So we'll just keep going and try to get some on this. There we go. There we go. So got a good one. On the square bill. Let's 
staying down. There we go. That's a nice bass right there. that up. Square bill bass. Unhook him. Let him go. Okay. That's one for the mid column. There we go. There we go. Got another one on the square bill. Nice bass. Whew. That's a big old bass. Okay, second one. Let's let him go. Got another one on the crankbait. Third one. Got another one. Okay. Fourth on the square bill. All right, so now for our final bait, we're gonna go ahead and switch up to the jig, fish the bottom. Okay, so we switched up to this little jig presentation. It's got a double tail grub on it. Let me see if we can catch any. Get some bass on it. Oh, he took my, uh, oh, look at that, just came right out. All right, number one for the jig. Took my trailer clean off, so we can put on another one real fast. Well, I didn't get that last one on video, but we're going to end it on that note right there. Another largey on the jig. Throwing that wacky chartreuse trailer, but you know, it worked. So that's one for the spook, 
I think about four for the square bill and two for the jig right there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Today it seemed like the uh, mid water column baits were the thing to use. So, got a few blow ups in the spook, only caught one. Uh, landed several on the square bill and jerk bait, and only got two on the jig. I uh, didn't get a lot of bites either. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. I'm gonna head on out of here. Peace.